school is closed and home you'll stay Here's a little something to brighten your day It's time for morning announcements Hi and welcome to another episode of Morning Announcements I'm Kevin from Hero City Edworks Back for a second episode Again to kick off the show Here's Caroline with the Pledge of Allegiance Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, instead of the Texas Pledge this morning, my son Madden pitched me an idea for something a little bit different, and since today, March 27th, is his 11th birthday, I said yes. The brightest day and blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's light. I want to begin our regular business with saying thank you to everybody who watched or shared the first video. It was viewed over 200 times across Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and that's pretty good for someone like me with a limited reach on social media. So please continue to watch, like, comment, and share. I really appreciate it. The first episode did make it halfway around the world thanks to our audience in Brussels, Belgium. That's pretty awesome, right? Uh, it's really just because my brother and his family live there. Uh, since the COVID-19 virus has affected the entire world, Kyle and his wife Cindy have also found themselves as headmasters for a private home learning academy. I want to commend them for taking an alternative approach to student discipline with my nephews Cole and Lucas. Hey, we've all got to learn to get along. If you've had a unique approach to instruction or discipline during this time, please leave me a comment or send me a message, and maybe I can use it in a future episode. Time to learn something new! Ah, the periodic table. This is an organized index of all the elements that make up our universe. Of the 118 identified materials, 94 of them occur naturally on Earth. The rest are synthetic or man-made. The seven rows of the table are called periods and generally have metals on the left and non-metals on the right. The columns called groups contain elements with similar chemical behaviors. You've got your metals, your non-metals, your metalloids, and your noble gases, to name a few. This bad boy has every element that you can think of, but you know what it doesn't have? The letter J. That's right, no element on the periodic table uses the letter J for part of its abbreviation. All other letters of the alphabet are used, even though some of them don't make any sense. I'm looking at you, Potassium. Resource Roundup! Time to share some more digital resources for parents and teachers to use while distance learning. Today's first suggestion is BrainPop. If you're not familiar with BrainPop, this is a learning website that has developed an impressive way to illustrate concepts through animated videos, games, and quizzes. I used it a lot when I was a social studies teacher, but there is an abundance of programming for all content areas. Now, BrainPop has some free content, but it is normally a paid site. However, they are offering free access to schools, teachers, and families affected by the current events. Just go to go.brainpop.com slash COVID-19 to request free access. Be forewarned though, kids can burn out on BrainPop if it's used too much. But if there's a subject that you're not sure how to teach, they probably have a video for it. The other suggestion I have for today will bring joy and delight to parents of a certain age and hopefully children of a new generation. There is an online version of the classic Oregon Trail game over at archive.org. Play like it's 1990 again and experience the struggles of life on the American frontier the way that God intended, with pixelating text and 8-bit graphics. My son's teacher, Mrs. Batson, sent us this link, and we've got a huge kick out of playing as a family. Until I died of dysentery. Now another book review from the birthday boy and resident reading aficionado, here is Madden with... Hey, what you reading? This week I recommend the Super Sons series by Ridley Pearson. The story focuses on a group of friends who share superhero heritage. They're forced to save the day while dealing with the struggles of friendship and adolescence. You can check out Book One, The Polar Show Project, and if you want to continue reading, you can check out The Fox Love Mission. 
It's a really good book series. I highly recommend it. On a serious note, to cap off today's episode, I want to remind everybody of the importance of mindfulness on social media. Please don't share false or unfounded information about the COVID-19 virus, especially if that puts people at unnecessary risk or impedes healthcare workers or law enforcement officials from doing an effective job. Also, try not to speculate about continued shutdowns or school closures and wait for those announcements as they are actually made. Lastly, for teachers, be careful of what you share, even on private accounts. The world is watching us closely right now, and a select few would love to use our reactions to these circumstances to justify not paying us or making sweeping changes to public education in general. During the school day, stick to a routine, create lessons, connect with your kids, and keep doing the best you can from home. Remember, we will all get through this together by staying the heck away from each other. Until next time, check out the resources and my blog at the website www.herocityed.com and check out the links to anything I've mentioned in today's episode in the description below. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like what you see. And if you have any suggestions, hit me up on Facebook or Twitter at Hero City Kevin. And look for new episodes of Morning Announcements every Tuesday and Friday.